Minister of Information and National Orientation, Mohamed Idris, has commended the chairman this day, Arise Media Group, Ndukao Baibina, for championing many innovations in the Nigerian media landscape. The minister gave the commendation at the maiden edition of this day Alumni Association Annual Dinner, where 13 of her members, who recently completed their tour of duty in various capacities in government and political parties, were honoured. The minister particularly hailed chairman these day Arise Media Group, Ndukao Baibena, for championing many innovations in the Nigerian media landscape. Obaigmena, who was delighted to hear what the These Day Alumni Association has done in its two years of existence, noted that it was pursuing the same course as prominent politicians who transitioned from journalism to public service, such as Chief Obafemi Awolowo, Dr. Namdi Azikwe, Chief Olabisi Ono Onobanjo, Alaji Latif Jakonde, Chief Olushegun Oshoba, and others. According to him, about 5,000 people had passed through this day since the newspaper was established over 25 years ago. I think the most senior person, uh, even you, Pastor. Particular headline error on the page one story. Take open mic. We will still have some. Well, I like the sound of that um, alumni yeah. association. Yeah. Over five thousand people have walked through the doors of Wonderful. this day since inception. Rufai. I mean, it just shows this day is a very strong brand. And kudos to Prince Undukal Bagmana. And I like to see this uh, very heartfelt. One of the reasons why I chose to come work at Arise is the fact that Prince Sundukao Baegwana is probably about only the media proprietor. There might be other ones, but let me make a fallacy of instant generalization. But probably the only one I know that supports your personal dreams and ambition. And the relationship is always tight, even when you leave. You don't have too many of them. It's always rancorous, you know, when people leave sometimes. But it just shows the big heart Prince Sundukao Bhagwan has got. Most of those people that went to serve in government and they did very well, you will hear their stories. Prince Sundukao Bhagwan has played a very major role. In fact, he's always ready to say, okay, go and serve. And your place is still always here when you, after serving the government, and you come back. I mean, from the days of, you know, Sadini, you know, all the people, all the people. And you can only see the kind of heart he has. And that's what has birthed the Disney alumni. That is very strong. Many people on the editorial board served in different capacity. You know, is it the like of even the former scribe of Neiti? You know, Naziri Adio came back, back page column this Sunday. The list is endless. All I'll continue to say is to thank him for the big heart he's got that brings a lot of people to him. And my prayer is his oil will never run dry and congratulations to him again. But that's quite very profound, you know, I said about him. That's profound. heartfelt from my heart to him. Well, the thing about journalism in Nigeria is that, you know, it's a whole community. Beyond the profession, you'll find that the people, even for the rest of their lives, they remain forever together. The first major example we had in this regard was Daily Times. At a time when Daily Times was like the, uh, you know, the only newspaper in the country, every newspaper, every other newspaper was referred to as Daily Times. And in the 90s, even up to now, they have this Daily Times community of ex-Daily Times people who went on to other newspapers, you know, and formed a community there. Then you also have uh, The Guardian you know, which is now over 40 years old. Uh, the Guardian also has something like an alumni association. The recent event that uh, the Guardian had, they had to call back. You, you needed to have been at the event. I was master of ceremony at the event. You know, everybody, people who worked on the first edition of the uh, newspaper, you know, it was history in one room. And then you have the this day alumni, you know, that uh, people who worked there, have uh, been able to put together. And they also have branch abroad. They have a branch in the UK. They have 
a branch in, uh, in the United States. The lesson of it is that, look, this job that we do, journalism is one of those professions where you can be there, you know, until your working stick fails you. So you remain a member of the uh, community. And this is what, you know, accounts for this interconnectedness uh, that we see. And the only thing, of course, is that we would like to see a situation whereby the alumni, the various alumni members can also still be of influence, of relevance, you know, to practicing journalism. But what we see is that in journalism, you know, once some people get a little fame, it gets into their heads and they tend to forget that they are part of a tradition, you know, of excellence, of distinction. And it's really uh, enheartening to see that the DZ alumni, within two years, you know, uh, continues to hold together as an association, both at home and abroad. I've seen the ones in the U.S. also having a similar event. And when they went on social media, it was good to see uh, many of our old uh, colleagues. Finally, the cross-fertilization, exits and entrances. There's one model that this day uh, newspaper has been able to establish is that people can go into government and still have a space to fall back upon. And you know, it's the practice that is enriched because many people sit in the newsrooms, they only know one side of the story. They don't know the other side of the story. Uh, in some other jurisdictions, maybe in the US, they say, oh, if you are a professional journalist, you don't go into government. But here in Nigeria, with what we have seen, with the example of this day and other newspapers, when people go into government and they still have the opportunity to come back, they are able to gain a knowledge of two sides of the street. And enlightened media owners like Prince of Baigbena, you know, have tried to encourage this tradition. Well, Dr. Abati, I'm sure you're speaking from experience, mm -hmm. having been in government and come back to what I would describe as maybe your first love in journalism. But I would say congratulations to the 13 uh, these day alumni who were chosen to be recognized and honored for their time in public service. It's one thing to be called from journalism to serve the, you know, to serve the people of Nigeria and another to do it excellently. I think it was also quite important that the chairman of the These Day Arise Media Group took that opportunity to remind those gathered and perhaps all journalists that we must remember the ethos of the profession. Yes, we are journalists, um, journalists hold government to account, but it must be done in such a way that reporting is factual, is, is, um, is backed up by fact, and also it is done objectively. Um, or adding that freedom of expression should come with its own responsibility, I thought that was really important to highlight because as a media organization, there's that, you know, uh, that need to remain objective despite the fact that you've either one worked in government before or perhaps might eventually um, work in government, and that's something that we must continue to do. Also, finally, I'll mention this. He talked about the fact that we must ensure that reporting brings unity rather than making it, you know, making the nation more divisive or hitting the policy. And I think this is a responsibility that journalists and media houses should take very responsibly. Again, a great one to see, um, you know, just seeing old, um, older members of the of the group come together to share stories, be honored, and celebrate the man who is at the helms of, um, you know, um, steering the ship of greatness, as I'd like to call it. Congratulations to all.